around 10000 people are dying from kidney disease every single day it causes more deaths every year than breast or prostate cancer hi i am dr alam and in this video i am going to walk you through the silent signs of kidney disease your body has a wonderful way of sending you signals when a vital organ is struggling the problem is we often ignore the signs we tell ourselves it's just a part of getting older or is just a normal stress fatigue for an example has countless causes but when it's connected to your kidneys there are often critical clues you can spot so stay with me in the next 8 minutes we are going to decode 10 of this silent signs and the last one number 10 is the one that millions of people mistake for a completely different health related issue every single day you need to hear it look your kidneys are incredible every day they filter around 180 liters of blood removing waste to keep you healthy when they don't work properly the waste builds up and the problems begin but here is the most important thing to understand you can lose up to 90% of your kidney function before you even have the severe symptoms that's why knowing the early signs is not just important it's critical the information i am sharing is based on solid medical research simplified so that you can take control of your health so let's get started first one is feeling always tired and exhausted i don't mean just a little tired This is a deep fatigue you can't ignore. You might sleep all night but still wake up feeling exhausted. Healthy kidneys make hormone called erythropoietin. Erythropoietin tells your body to make red blood cells which carry oxygen. If your kidneys are struggling, they make less erythropoietin and less oxygen means your muscles and brain get tired very quickly. As I mentioned, there are countless causes of tiredness. But fatigue from other causes typically improves with rest or sleep however in kidney disease the tiredness is persistent and severe and it doesn't improve with sleep the next important sign is swelling in your hands ankle or feet if your rings feel tight and socks leave a deep marks on your ankles then be aware this swelling is called edema swelling can also occur around the eyes especially in the morning This is pitting type of edema which means if you press it with a finger it will create an indentation that lasts for some time Your kidneys are supposed to remove extra salt and fluid from your body If they can't the fluid builds up in your tissue It's like a plumbing backup in your body Now there are many other conditions that can cause this type of swelling such as heart disease liver disease thyroid problems and even some medications So how can you identify kidney related swelling Remember pitting edema is usually bilateral meaning it affects both legs and it's associated with other symptoms like foamy urine In kidney disease the puffiness is more pronounced in the morning but in heart disease it's more prominent in the evening Next one is urine changes This is a big one so pay close attention You might be waking up frequently at night to use the bathroom. Your urine might appear foamy, look dark like tea, or very pale while you are urinating more often than usual. If you see bubbles, that means protein is leaking into your urine. That's a classic sign of kidney trouble. Any of these changes are worth noting. Foamy urine can sometimes be caused by dehydration. However, if foamy urine persist for several days or is accompanied by swelling high blood pressure fatigue or other urinary symptoms you should get checked for kidney disease next important sign is puffiness around your eyes we all wake up a little puffy sometimes but if it happens every single morning that's a red flag this is often one of the very first sign that your kidney's filters are damaged They are letting too much protein escape into your urine. This loss of protein causes fluid to accumulate around your eyes. Next is dry itchy skin. You might think it's just a dry weather, but if lotion doesn't help and the itchiness doesn't stop, it could be your kidneys. Healthy kidneys balance the minerals in your blood. 
when the fill a mineral called phosphorus can build up the build up can cause severe itching from the inside out here are the three key points about kidney related itching you should remember first this itching is persistent affects large areas of your body and is severe it's not just a little scratch here and there it's intense and overall itching second lotion and moisturizer won't help unlike dry skin your usual remedies simply don't work for this type of itching third it gets worse at night often disrupting your sleep when you need rest the most if you are experiencing this kind of severe widespread itching that doesn't respond to treatment and orson at night get your kidneys checked before we move on to the six signs i have a small request if you or your loved one has been diagnosed with kidney disease share in the comment section which symptom you noticed first your experience might help others to become more aware sign number 6 is muscle cramps if you are getting sudden sharp muscle cramps that seems to come out of nowhere you are not overdoing it at the gym but your legs or back just seize up so pay close attention your kidneys are in charge of balancing the minerals in your blood like calcium and phosphorus think of this as electrolytes that help your muscles work smoothly when your kidneys aren't working well these levels get out of balance that imbalance is that what causes your muscle to cramp up painfully these cramps are more common at night and don't respond well to the rehydration sign number 7 shortness of breath you may feel short of breath even while doing small things like walking a little or climbing just a few stairs it feels like you are not getting enough air this has two main causes both linked to your kidneys first remember the swelling we talked about if your kidneys can't get rid of extra fluid it can build up in your lungs this makes it very hard to breathe second it connects back to the fatigue when your kidneys don't make enough of that hormone erythropoietin you have fewer oxygen carrying red blood cells your body is essentially starved for oxygen which leaves you feeling breathless now let's talk about the metallic taste or ammonia breath this is a strange one but it's very important you might notice that food starts to taste different maybe metallic like you have a coin in your mouth or you might notice that your breath has a sharp unpleasant smell similar to ammonia this is a direct sign that waste is building up in your blood one of the main waste product is called urea when your kidneys can't filter it out the levels get very high this urea in your blood stream can be tested in your saliva and smelled on your breath it's a clear signal that the body's filtering system is not working right sign number 9 is nausea and vomiting this often goes along with the poor appetite you might just feel sick to your stomach most of the time and this isn't just passing bug it's a persistent feeling of nausea and in some cases it can lead to vomiting at this stage the build up of toxin in your blood has become quite severe your body is flooded with waste products like urea which triggers the brain's nausea center It's your body's way of telling you that the level of toxin has reached a point where it is making you sick from the inside out. Okay, we have made it to the number 10. I told you at the beginning that this is the sign millions of people mistake for something else entirely. So please pay attention. If you feel you are just not hungry anymore, food doesn't taste good and you are losing weight without trying, many people worry this is cancer or stomach issues. and they often overlook the real culprit this happens when your kidneys don't work properly and waste build up in your body this waste especially urea can make you lose your appetite or changes how food tastes you might feel full quickly or even feel sick when you eat it's a serious sign that your body has too many toxins don't ignore it and make sure to check your kidneys first now let me be very clear having one of the symptoms does not mean that you have kidney disease many of this can be caused by other things but if you are experiencing several of these signs consistently that is your body signal to take action 
we have also made a detailed video about the skin changes in kidney disease. So check this video if you worried about any recent skin changes. The purpose of this video is to give you the power of awareness. Your next step is not to panic but to have a simple conversation with your doctor. A basic blood test and urine test can tell them how your kidneys are doing. If you have any queries or concern, let me know in the comment section. That's all for today. See you in the next video.